Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment in Android Studio so that you can test your mobile apps on an emulator. I won't be covering downloading and installing Android Studio, but I do want to point out that when you get to this point of the setup wizard, you will not see JDK in the list of components to install, as it has been in past versions. That's okay, it'll be installed with Android Studio. If for some reason it does not install, you can install it from within Android Studio's menus. Okay, so now that you've gone through the setup wizard and installed Android Studio, let's go through setting up the environment so you can test your app on an emulator. Select Start a New Android Studio Project. Select Empty Activity. I'll change the name to Hello From Me. You'll notice the package name gets automatically updated. The part that comes after the com dot is the domain name. Since I'm making this video for my CS360 class, I'll make that the domain. You generally put the company name there. As of May 2019, Kotlin is Google's preferred language for Android app development, so it's going to be the default. Since this class uses Java, we need to change it to Java. Now I'm going to select the minimum SDK of Android 7.0 Nougat. Now select Finish. The project will load up and you'll want to select the build window at the bottom. We want to wait for the sync to complete and give us a green check mark. This is where things can start to get a bit obnoxious. Yeah, I know, we literally just started. You might get an error message here. If so, it may give you a link to a setting within Android Studio that you need to change, or it'll give you an error message that you can Google and get a solution to. Hopefully, everything goes through fine and you get your green check mark. If you get a pop-up asking if your firewall should block this, say no. This actually takes a while, so I'm going to cut this out of the video. There's that green check mark. Now let's edit the app a bit, and we'll change what shows at the top of the app when it plays. I'll go to App, Res, Values, Strings.xml, and replace me with my actual name. If we try to run the app, we will see an error saying there's no target device. Let's fix that. You'll see next to the play button a drop down that says no device. This needs to say the name of the target device we wish to emulate. Click it and select AVD Manager. Here we will set up our virtual device. Select Create Virtual Device. And I'm just going to leave it on the default one. Now I need to select a system image. That's the operating system that the emulator will run. I don't have any downloaded right now, so I'll just select 7.0 Nougat for no reason other than I really like to say Nougat. Hit accept and wait a while for it to install the component. I skipped ahead a bit there because that install takes a while. If I select finish, Android 7.0 Nougat's install is complete. Now I need to select it so I can hit next. I'm going to just stick with these default values and hit finish. Let's close this window and try running our app. Notice the target device is now displaying next to the play icon. Hit play and wait for the Android emulator to pop up. OK, that took forever, so I skipped ahead. Now the emulator starts as if the phone is booting up, so once again you're going to have to wait a bit. I'll skip this too. Here we go. At first it'll seem like your app isn't going to boot up, but just be patient, it will. There it is. And notice it says, hello from Ashley Godbold. So that's it. You've successfully set up your Android Studio IDE to run an Android phone emulator and tested your first app on it. 